Hi guys and welcome back to iClone 3D where we discuss tips, tricks and tutorials for the latest animation softwares and today we're going to be looking at how to animate the hands uh, manually so what we want to do is first click on our character and I'm using this uh, big green fella here let's call him the fake Hulk because he's got these really big hands and you know we're really going to be able to see exactly how we can animate you know such huge hands so let's go for it so firstly we're going to click n on our keyboard and that's going to open up the animation layer and you can see here we've got um on our edit motion we've got the two hands here so this means that we can basically individually animate these hands now what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn off the bones and these little blue indicators uh, just so we can see a lot better so to do that you can just click on these two icons up here and then that'll just give you you know much more um much more vision on what you're doing so if i just come over here and i start to pull down on that you can see that starts to make the hands close and open now to get some animation going of course what we want to do is we want to set a key and then we're just going to move maybe 20 frames in the timeline and we can just pull down and that will then create the animation of a fist closing so if i hit play you can see that closes now you can see it's quite fast and to slow that down, we can just click on this little cursor here and then we can just drag that to about 50% and that's gonna slow that down to half the speed. Okay, brilliant. Now, um, another cool trick we can do is we can go to the transition curve and we can add an ease out and that will then give um, a nice cool looking ease out effect. And it just makes it look more realistic and you know a bit more lifelike and you can adjust the strength of that here so if we put that up to 100 and play that back you see it has a tiny different effect on that so i'll just keep that linear as it was and we'll just hit play just to see the difference not much of a difference okay so it isn't doing much actually as i thought it would be um but we could always go down here and sometimes you have to add the transition curve to the key itself so we'll just add it to the key here and we'll just go for an ease out and you can see now the difference in results to that and you can add a few different ones if you wanted to try so we'll try damping and you can see that closes and then there's a little bounce towards the end as you can see there and you know you can try a few different ones uh, with this one you can see he opens a little bit first and then he closes Okay, so this is just how the transition curves can, you know, give you different results each time. So we'll keep it as that because I like that one. It kind of builds um, builds a bit of intensity before he closes his fist. And now what we can do is we can also individually animate kind of just the different fingers, etc. And I'm just going to go here in my timeline to maybe 50, 6, 70. We'll go to about 70 and we'll just make him open the fist uh but not all the way and then we'll, what we'll do is we'll make these two fingers open out a little bit more and ironically i've done the middle finger first so I apologize for that uh we'll open it like that so he kind of has two fingers open and so to do that you just click on the parts that you want to animate and you can just as you can see move your mouse up and down and that will kind of move the fingers for you and we can just kind of get them a little bit offset and even bring up the pinky finger a little bit so the different parts are going to animate the different parts of the finger so we can do the fingertip here and really really amazing and another cool thing guys if you click on it and you drag left and right you can see uh it starts to you know move the finger left and right and if you wanted to do that a bit more you can go over here and you can just drag on that and just you know drag them to the left and right to give a little bit more space so if i go back to the beginning now uh, we can see now there's an issue so it's done the close but we don't want the hand to be how it is here so if we hit reset and then it should do it exactly how we had it planned closes and then the fist opens if you wanted a bit more delay time we can always drag this key out a little bit more and then there'll be a little bit more of a delay before it opens up now again if we wanted to you know drag this key a bit further down the line you can see we can't drag it because we haven't got any motion clip going to add some more motion clip to your timeline you just want to scroll down your timeline and then just hit set key and that's just going to add you know some more motion to your timeline then you can drag this out to make that motion a lot more slower when the fist opens up again 
Okay, so um, on top of that, we can do all sorts of other things. I'll leave you guys to kind of, you know, mess around with that in your own time, but you can really kind of see, you know, how easy we can start animating the hands as we please and, you know, get whatever results we desire from the animation. Okay, so that really concludes this tutorial, guys. Really hope that helps. And really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial.